Hello everyone, Rebel Games here again, and we're playing some more Neverwinter, leveling our cleric up to level 80. We just finished with uh, Black Dagger Ruins, and so now we're going to go ahead and travel back to Protector's Enclave. We've got a few things to finish up in Protector's Enclave. Um, we have got to turn, uh, we need to go talk to Sergeant Knox, uh, which he will give us uh, the next set of quests. Uh, we also need to uh, do the artifact recovery piece. We also need to do finish up our quest line with uh, Sibella. And so, yeah, there's quite a few things here. All right, so Black Dagger Bested is done. It's a good thing we sent you out there. Had Jareth Grimm succeeded, he would have threatened the entire Sword Coast. I'm also glad to hear our trust in the harbors was well-founded. I have a feeling they'll prove helpful again soon. Great, let's complete that. All right, so he's going to give us three more quests here. So going once, going twice, I think this auction house. Yeah. Okay. Just a tutorial on the auction house. Go ahead and accept that. We'll maybe hit that offline. Uh, grave news. Ah, glad you came by. A troop of my guards just returned from Neverdeath Cemetery. They were a bit rattled. Spoke of Kelimbor, a dead over in the city along those lines. You were pretty badly wounded. I need to ask you to venture into the graveyard and talk with Doom Guide Volak. Your help there may stop an infestation of undead here. Cool. Alright, so this is our next area that we will go and explore. And then Cult on the Rise. More trouble in Neverdeath. As if the dead rising in the Cult of the Dragon ransacking tombs wasn't bad enough. Now it seems the Cult is fighting amongst themselves. Narrowly, that would be good news. It seems the reason for the fighting is due to a change in leadership. And the new leader, Seppin, has big plans for the cult. Arthur Boward could give you more information. You can find her just west of here, on the other side of the temple area. She's in conference with others who are also concerned about the cult's change in tactics. Cool. Okay, so this is going to be the Cult of the Dragon campaign that will uh, be introduced to as well. So, great. All right, so we got a few things here to go do. Um, let's go ahead and... Hit, uh, oops, I don't want to turn that off. I want to head towards that. Searching the present. Uh, okay, so we need to complete the Analyze Order Document campaign task. So I think that's in here. This one, View Campaign. We can analyze this. We'll start this up. This allows us to analyze. And then we'll be able to turn this into Sibella, I believe. So we'll collect our reward take the rewards we get a bag of holding on that that's good so now we have to return to Sabella and so but we can get this boop and there are now we got three bags so we got we're starting to get a little more uh, bag space here that's really good cool so and then we'll turn to return to Sabella and I think we'll be able to get a new companion with Sabella and uh, we'll get the um, the bard companion where he's a really good companion um, uh, you can use him all the way through level 80 and, and beyond even a little bit. So he's got some good good items there. So, uh, okay, so we got that. And then we, um, so we will hit her up as in a minute. We have something to do with Acquisitions Incorporated. Uh, we got to go take care of the Tyranny of Dragon stuff. Um, but now we got to hit this, this guy here. This is the Artifact Recovery. So let's go and turn that, go do that one real quick. Um... This is going back to the Sage Shop, I believe. And we'll get our first artifact there. And then we'll go up and we'll talk to Sabella. And then we'll get the Tyranny of Dragons. So this might be, this episode might be a little bit of uh, upkeep. And then maybe starting in on the Never Death area. So, uh, which would be a good, that's a, that's a fun area to go to as well. We'll get to kill our first dragon there. So, yeah. So, artifact recovery complete. This is indeed the coffer I asked you to find. I have performed a ritual that grants me the power to open these magically sealed containers. Let us see what is within. Behold, three powerful artifacts. And, as promised, you shall have your choice of them. I advise you to consider your options carefully. This is an important decision that should be made with care. All right, I'll choose with care. Uh, all right, so we go over here and pick. So, 
Uh, Aurora's whole realms catalog is gives us plus seven critical avoidance, and we use it. Uh, it creates a portal for a shopkeeper that can buy and sell items. And if we're in combat, uh, he'll throw a fiery concoction at enemies. So uh, that's all right. Um, I mean, I guess it'd be kind of good to have a shopkeeper come in every once in a while. But the plus seven critical avoidance and, and the ranking of that, uh, not really, you know, if I was a if I was a uh, fighter or something like that, maybe I would take that one. So Waters of Elizad. Uh, this one isn't too bad. He, uh, healing from this artifact is not affected. Okay, that's that. Um, uh, plus 7 accuracy and then heals me for 240 over 6 seconds and removes any harmful damaging effects such as poison. Also, interesting one. Um, not sure. The Lantern of Revelation uh, is plus 7 critical strike and deals um, 91 damage to nearby en enemies. Uh, <clears throat> so, I've usually always taken the Lantern. Uh, again, it gets replaced fairly quickly. Critical strike is not bad. Um, for Cleric, it's, it's a little bit better because uh, we can do, uh, not only will it do crit crit strike for damage but also for um it can apply to healing as well so you can critical heal uh and then it's a not bad for um you know a little extra damage ae that you can throw out every once in a while um that so i think i'm going to go ahead and take the lantern it seems to be i mean uh, unless you're yeah i don't know um yeah most most of the time i would just choose the lantern on this one it has the best stats um for most of the characters you're dealing with so, I'll go ahead and take care, take care of that one. So now, we've got our first artifact. Um, so, what we can do with that guy, there he is. Um, so, if we wanted to refine this, we could take this all the way... Uh, oops. We can take it up to there and try and upgrade it, but we're missing some of these reagents to upgrade it. But you see, if we pop it up to, like, just to there... Um, so... Like, it goes from plus 7 critical strike and dealing, uh, well, this one would get it up to 973 damage to nearby enemies, I believe. But it, once you bump it up to level 30, you get that 200 armor penetration and plus 200 critical strike. So that's pretty cool. But here, I can rank this all the way up to here, and then once we get the, some materials here, we can uh, do that. In fact, rank 3, mark of potency, rank 4, enchanting stone, rank 3, enchanting stone... I might be able to pick some of those up with Astral Diamonds right now. So let's do that. So where are we at now? So that gives us 193 Critical Strike. So that's not too bad. So now when I equip this guy, it's a little bit better. And then I have the uh, ability to do almost 1,000 points of damage to nearby enemies. So not too bad. Um, so decent little guy. And then if I rank it up, it'll get uh, Armor Pen. Armor Penetration to that too. So that's good. All right, good. So we got done with that. Uh, let's see. Let's go talk to Harper Bullard. And uh, actually, let's go talk to Sibella first, and then we'll go talk to Harper Bullard. Um, in fact, I need to check on my companion anyways to see if my companion's ready to level up. Yeah, I'll go over and talk to you in a minute, Harper. We're going to go up and talk to Sibella first. There's Lord Never Ember. Hanging out. Where he always hangs out. <laughs> Alright. What do you got for me, Sibella? I foresee great things for you. Ah, uh, I see. This is helpful. I'm sorry, I'm just a little disappointed. Although I should have expected this much, finding the staff of Sadness is not just a matter of detecting its location in the material plane, but also where it will be in the future. To do that, I must hone my powers of divination. This makes your assistance even more vital to my search. Please continue to update me on major events in your life as they come to pass. I will call on you again when I resume my search for the staff. All right, complete the quest. Ah, uh, cool. So that completes. So if I farewell on her... Oh, actually, that's the store. Oh, good. Okay, well, here. Um, here's another artifact we could get. Globe of the Third Eye. Um, 
it's all right we might pick that up later uh but here's the minstrel so that's not bad uh so you can see we have 30 of her tokens we can't get any more because we've completed the campaign but um this guy's not too bad he gives us a thousand power which is great for the cleric uh it pick increases our healing as well as our damage um and then 500 awareness which is all right so um we'll go ahead and pick up the minstrel so he's good he's a really good companion to pick up this gray horse yeah it's all right uh i'm gonna wait um on that one uh, this one if we ever need to retrain we can go pick up um the retraining tokens here oh that's interesting it didn't actually use any of my symbols of savras huh and sell our treasures there now if i go back to here yeah i still have three there and yet i still i have a minstrel that's funny maybe i'll go back and look at this video to see if i had 36 instead of 30 maybe i just misread that i thought i only had 30 and uh, i bought that guy for six and didn't, he didn't use any here well here let me see if i pick up a stone of health because that's not too bad to buy either oh yeah no no i must have had 36 okay no worries uh and i can only buy one of those stone of health okay well we will try not to use them all in one place so cool all right cool so let's uh get our companion up so we'll bind him up and let's see um Valendarius. uh yeah he's a it's the name of a bard that i had in another game and so i will Valendarius. yep that's right cool so we'll name him that and uh let's see now we can go to our companions and ah uh, he's almost level 20. We'll go ahead and send uh, Ripley off to begin training. It's going to take him four, f almost four and a half hours to do. No problem, but we'll, now we can summon this other guy. And we'll start getting our bard up. So good, 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 good. Okay, and we got this guy. Can I get... Oh, I can't stack those. Okay, well, I got one extra there. That's no big deal. We'll hold on to that for a little bit. And... Oh, I have an extra benign order of the third eye document, so I can go ahead and discard those. Don't need that. Um, we do, do, do. Okay, close that. Okay, cool. All right, so we have our new companion here, Balandarius. Uh, he's going to strum his little harp there and follow us around. And uh, let's actually go in here. And yeah, so Minstrel's Discipline, this gives us a thousand power and 500 awareness so we'll go ahead and use that one and then uh see if we ha acute senses acute senses came from our dog which chance on hit to increase your combat advantage up by 2000 uh redemption chance on hit to heal you and your companion for four percent of maximum health over 15 seconds when your companion is near okay so the redemption i believe is what comes from the bard yeah, and acute senses comes from the dog. Um, I think I'm going to go with redemption. Let's go ahead and choose that. Nice little extra heal. Uh, nope, we want to choose this one. There we go. Cool. And I don't think we can do any more of these. Unlocks the 30, unlocks the 60. Okay, so cool. So we don't have... If we had another um, companion that had this uh, ability, this blue power ability on there... Um, we could add that, but um, yeah, we don't have any equipment there, so good. All right, good, good, good. Um, and I don't think we have any. Yep, we don't have anything there. Cool. All right, good to go. Level 27 still. We will come out, and now I think we go talk to Harper Board, and she is right over here. <coughs> so um i'm gonna look in the campaign journal right now for tyranny of dragons so we're gonna go ahead and start campaign Harper window and neverdath has sent some very intriguing reports apparently the cult of the dragon members in the graveyard have started fighting each other Windle has not been able to establish a reason for this sudden rift inside the cult but the harpers are very interested in determining what has happened in that organization Will you go to Neverdeath and assist Wendell? She can update you when you arrive. Cool. All right. So that starts the campaign. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. 
And if you look here, we've got this long campaign of things to do. I mean, this takes us all the way up to the rise of Tiamat and, and all that stuff. So this is a very long campaign we're going to be dealing with for a big chunk of our time here. Other Harpers have more pressing need for your aid. Cult on the Rise complete. Thank you for coming. Please, join us, and I'll tell you what I know. Can the Harpers depend on you? Okay, so we got that. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. So I'll go to the, I'd like to go to the Well of Dragons, but this is I a level 60 thing. So, like so that seems reasonable. We won't bother to talk about that. Okay, so, so we've got our Never Death. Uh, so we'll go talk to Never Death. Uh, Win Harper, Windle, and Never Death. We'll go. So we have that, and then we have the Go to Never Death Graveyard for the Grave News. Um, let's run over. We'll just clear the Guild Registrar ones and the Auction House ones really quick. Um, so it's just just to get them off of our quest list. It's, just takes a minute to, to do that. Uh, guild registrar. Nope, not that one. That's guild bank. Registrar. There we go. All right. Thank you. We don't even need to talk to him. Uh, and then we will go over to. Hmm. Let's go over to the. Uh, oh, we got to do our invocation really quick. We'll do that. Cool. And back up. And we're going to head over to the auction house. Gonna jump up here on this roof. And jump down here. Take a little damage, but it's okay. It's okay. And our auction house is right down here. Talk to this person here. Welcome to the auction house. Continue. Okay, so this just tells us how to use the auction house. Not really an issue for us right now. We'll use it here in a second. Actually, do we want to? Let's see. Why not take a look right now? So we need market potency rank three, enchanting stone, and a couple of enchanting stones. Let's see. Uh, we may want to. You know, I still think I'm gonna save up my astral diamonds. I actually need to do my dailies here as well. <laughs> you see, I've still got 16,000. Um, I think I still am going to save up for that better mount um, instead of going after and doing a bunch of refining stuff right now. So we'll we'll hang on that one. Uh, I don't want to do the workshop thing. It's uh, it's kind of a long intro, a lot of talking stuff. And since we're not going to do the workshop, we're, we're going to skip that for right now. In fact, I'm going to go in here. There's kind of a cool thing you can do. I can go in here and I can mark this as an X. And then it doesn't uh, doesn't take a look at us at all anymore, or it doesn't bug us anymore. Um, we are getting the retrieval operation. Should we do the retrieval operation, or do we do that already? I don't think we've done the retrieval operation yet. We've just done the basement and the uh, yeah. So let's do that one really quick. That's not a bad one. It's kind of a fun little thing to do and it helps Welcome us with this little bit incorporated so retrieval operation I don't ask Jim any questions about what he needs these eggs for all I know is he goes to Mount Houghton into some active caldera and steals them from the nest of a terrifying deep crow also none of the interns who go with him ever come back <laughs> all right so this is gonna give us 20 acorns that's a pretty good uh, return as plus 25 seals of the adventure so not bad either so we'll accept that. In fact, let me just check how many seals I have right now. Um, okay, I'm only at 550, so I got I got plenty of room there. Uh, so let's go over here and talk to Jim. I can't help but notice you noticing me. Not gonna do the basement investigation right now because uh, we've already done that one. So Great. we'll go do that. Here's how it's gonna go. We'll fly to the Hotel Caldera where these massive evil birds roost. We don't want to fight this thing if we don't have to. We might have to get creative. Are you with me? All right, let's go. Wonderful. Meet me on the company airship parked outside, and we'll be on our way to adventure. To adventure. Great. Okay, we'll run out here and do this. This is kind of an entertaining, um, it's kind of an entertaining quest. So. And we're going to do the retrieval operation. There we go. Just, you know, jump into this active volcano and get this party started. <laughs> I 
I can see why you'd be hesitant, but seriously, we gotta get off this boat. Don't you trust me yet? Okay, time to go. Yeah, Jim's kind of a jerk. <laughs> That's the nest we're going to over there. <laughs> Alright. All right. Now, look for that nest. They keep them up real high. So this gets a lot easier when you have a fast mount because you can bypass a lot of the fights. But we're going to have to fight through a bunch of these guys at first here. Let's see if we can knock through some of these guys. problem with these guys is a lot of them they are uh, they explode when you kill them so kind of a pain in the butt uh, but let's see here let's keep going I think we can bypass this group here if we just go down the middle and then we have this guy in the middle all right here we go down and Hey, I've killed ten Archons already. Cool. Up on the horse again. And we'll run up to say hi to Deep Crow. She's massive. You'll need to draw her away from All right. Find a few of her feathers below. Throws they me back. So now we gotta go find her feathers. So try and avoid some of these guys. These guys respawn real fast. But there you can kind of run around a little bit. Okay, so the first feather's right here. Yeah, we'll get this guy. The other feather's there, and there should be another one on the far side. But, um... Yeah. Alright, let's see. Most of these guys are dropping pretty fast, so that's good. All right, there's feather number two. And uh, I think our last feather is over by there. Uh, knock that guy back, and then take this guy out. Okay, cool. Okay, and our last feather should be right over there, yep. Give another three seconds, and then we will take out this mag brute. Okay, he's down. Take out the flame bow. He's down. There's our third feather. Maybe talk to her neighbors? There's a fire giant blacksmith down there, I know. Okay, and take out a flame shield. I'm okay, nothing there. Give it nine seconds. And we'll take out this magma brute. Okay, down. Oh, look at that, level 28. Uh, let's see. So, did that unlock any of these things that uh, I had? Oh yeah, there we go. So which ones are we? accuracy, accuracy and awareness? Both have defense power. Well, I'll take the one that gives me. Well, I don't know, 234 accuracy or 54 accuracy, 180 awareness. I think I'm gonna go with 234 accuracy. I think I want accuracy over awareness. So we'll go ahead and do that guy. Um, convert that one. And this guy's not up yet, so. So that's a nice item level piece of equipment we can do. We can get this guy out. Okay, cool. Just out of curiosity's sake, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh yeah, that's just as ugly as I thought it was. Okay. 
We don't need to have that on. Okay, cool. Uh, here we go. Now we gotta run down these steps. Find a spot to hide. Listen to the blacksmith, and we'll see if we can figure something out. The dark blacksmith. You're gonna steal the hammer and frame the deep crow. Try throwing a rock at that rat to create a distraction. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you are very small. <laughs> I think it would just be easier if I just killed this guy, but, you know. Bird! Curse you, bird! My tools are decorations! They're integral to the process of forging! <laughs> Deep Crow! Deep Crow's like, I'm at my wit's end, I don't know what you're talking about. I demand recompense! Come down here! And enter into a meaningful dialogue with my business. All right, I think we have him distract, have her distracted. So while they fight. This is it! This is your chance! Get up that dangerous, unstable fire and get one of those eggs! I've had enough, you side big villain! Okay. Get away from her, because sometimes she does that voice, that uh, A, like that she kicked me off my horse before, with, or kicked me away for. And, uh. You don't want to get hit by that. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to run past these guys, so I'm going to have to kill them all, um, unfortunately. Get rid of these guys. And yeah. Alright. Fortunately, I don't. Actually, can I run up here? I'm making avoid these guys. Maybe I can avoid some of these fights. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Yep. So I just like to avoid fights if I can. There we go. Yep. Look at that. Parkour up and around this thing. Oop. There we go. And I'll take out these guys. Uh, hey, that avoids some of the fights. So not bad. Bard's gonna run down into the uh, lava, so that's fun. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can run around these guys. Nope. Okay. Knock him back. Yeah, they die pretty easily. I gotta save this, uh. my big hit for this guy right here. Fire Scorpion. He's kind of a mean dude. And they explode too, so you want to be around them when they explode. Okay, cool. Got that guy done. We're trying to steer clear of those guys and see if we can get this other. Uh, see if I can get this flame hex out. There he goes. Knock those guys out and take out this last one. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
mount up, and we think we can get run right up Deep Crow's area. There should be one more scorpion we have to take out up here. Uh, but we sh he should drop pretty easily. In fact, we could probably do it even better with a... Uh, I don't know. We'll just take him out. Yeah, he's going to take out easy. Yep. Yeah. And get out of his way. Pick yes. up the Deep Crow. Oh, man. I can't wait for you to get back here with those eggs. Careful, careful. All right. And done. And that's another daily quest it's that you so do for Acquisitions that Incorporated. And that's funny. There's two Deep Crows the down there. Here, I'll hold on to it for you. Oh, it's no trouble. I've got just the place for it. All right. So that's that. And now that we've got that done, we will now head over into Never, Never, uh, Neverwinter Graveyard. Cool. Just going to turn this in real quick, and we'll head over there. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. Oh, welcome back. Another one in the books, huh? Nice work. All right. So there's that. We won't do the re-retrieval yet. Um, I'll go take care of that maybe off off camera. Uh, so on the, and let's see. Just to check where we're at with Acquisitions Incorporated. Yeah, we don't have enough. I mean, we've got 55 of those, but we've got 65 of the haul for the week. So um, I'll try and get those cleaned up after and, and max out the hull or as much as I can uh, and we'll go from there cool so uh, now we are off to never death graveyard and uh, we'll start off on the uh, on this quest line uh, we won't go through get through all of it yet but uh, you know it'll be good we'll get it uh, get a good start in there and uh, and we'll probably end up be able to finish it up uh, tomorrow. So, we do need to go down here and talk to, uh, guild invite. Yeah, we're not gonna do that right now. We'll, we'll do the guild stuff a little bit later. Let's go talk to Harper Window. We must stop what is happening in Craftsman's Rest. So we have a culting crisis complete. Thank you for coming. As if this nonsense with the Clockwork Guild Tomb wasn't enough. Now the cultists are fighting amongst themselves. If any luck, they'll all kill each other. Cool. Complete that. Okay, so we've got uh, Charth uh, Charthraxis. This is the dragon you can kill in Neverdeath. In Neverdeath have convinced Charthraxis, a foul-tempered green dragon, to aid them here. Defeating Charthraxis may buy us some time to Kay. learn more about. And then we have the cult communications. This new heretical faction of the cult of the dragon is held up at the back of craftsman's rest cool. in an area known as merchant's landing like their brethren these new cultists appear to be looking for something reports also indicate both groups have been going at it tooth and nail but the new cultists have repulsed all the attacks by the old cultists a green dragon has been spotted circling the area and may be assisting the new as much as I hope the two groups wipe each other out, we need to know what is going on here in case this factional warfare spreads to other locations. Neither side is likely to tell me anything useful, so go see if you can recover any useful documents from the casualties up there. All right, we'll do that. Okay. <coughs> then we'll talk to uh, Christopher Chatterbell. Have Chatterbell. I told you I'm a genius? <laughs> Correcting history. I have a friend who has hired, uh, I mean, asked me to help prove her birthright, lest scurrilous rumors keep her from marrying well. Unfortunately, it appears some rapscallions are so determined to slander my friend, they've altered the dates of birth and death on several gravestones to discredit her claim to noble descent. You seem a capable and enterprising person. Perhaps you could assist me by correcting some of those headstones. All right. We'll go ahead and accept that as well. Okay, so I want to check the map here. Uh, we got 10 minutes before uh, Carthraxis will come in. And then we've got... Um, uh, what's the other one in here? Speak to... Uh, nope. There must okay. Be better uses for an so what we'll do is uh, run over here. We'll pick up these quest lines as well. But I think I want to go over and do the Carthraxis fight real quick because that's a fun one to do. Um, and then that gets on to a kind of a daily thing we can do that will Thank help us with the campaign. Although it humbles me to admit it, the doom guides of Kalimbor need aid against the undead. Okay. Our resources are stretched to their cool. limits. 
We'll help him. And the missing doom guides. Oh, this will give us a nice amulet upgrade over our cloak. That's good. Okay. So we'll accept this guy. We'll move on. Sorry, some of these guys get kind of long-winded, so uh, unless you all want to hear... Um, let me pick up this lore. Um, unless you all want to hear them talking about that, let me know, but um, I'm kind of thinking that that kind of drags on a little bit, so we'll just skip through that and, and we'll keep rolling through. Um, speed things along. Uh, so let's go... Let's see. Craftsman Rest. Uh, there's that one. And then... We have something in here, but it's not showing me the thing. So this must be the uh, collected documents uh, from the defeated cultists. So we'll go over there, do that. We got about nine minutes, a little less than nine minutes, until Carthraxis shows up. There's some things we can go over here and do this side. We can um, and knock out. So we'll run over here and do that, um, and. Uh, and hopefully that'll be about the right time to uh, take on Carthraxis. So. Yep. Looks like those guys all got triggered to run after somebody. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, there's a new spawn point. But that's okay, we don't need that. Um, And actually, Cult of the Dragon and Mercenaries. Yeah, I think we can take these guys out. I think this will. Yeah, that's a big group of them here. But hopefully, they'll drop some of the stuff that we're looking for. Um, I don't think we did. Oops, there's another one still alive. Alright. And uh, nope, and nope. Okay. I uh, didn't get any of the click documents from the defeated cultists. So, so maybe the kobolds are not the ones that we want to have. Oh, that's funny. That guy totally got knocked off his horse. Um, in fact, I don't think they are, if I remember right. It's the cultists that are up in... No, oh, it's in this area. Like these guys here. Uh, let's see. Let's see if somebody tossed up a shield for us. Yeah, so. Okay, so these cultists are the ones. So there's the cult documents there. And, uh, okay, so. We'll take out the guys on these. Let's pop these guys out. Okay. And they should drop some court. Hopefully they'll drop cult documents for us. And so we'll do that. Um, he's on another quest for that. So, uh, But let's see here. Um, pop those guys out. Oh, that's just way early. I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, nothing there. Yeah, so a lot of the high levels hang out here because they got to take out the um, dragon as well as part of the uh, part of the um, cult of the dragon uh, uh, campaign. Boy, I can't talk right now. I can't multitask. That's for sure. Uh, so yeah. Okay. So uh, nope. Nothing on that. And let's see, let's take these guys out, see if they have any of the items we're looking for. I thought some of these guys did, but, boy, I'm not getting the drops, that's for sure. So, let's see. Drop in here. Hey, there we go. There's one has dropped a document. That's good. So that's two down. And what, what do you have time I've got five minutes on Carthraxis. Carthraxis. Um, uh, 
let's take this one. I'm getting a double, double cast on some of these things, which is kind of odd, but I don't mind it if it actually does something. Okay. Yeah, I'm still looking for. That's the only problem is that these guys. These guys are a long respawn, so. Let's see if I can get some of these guys to. Oh, there's. Okay, these guys dropped. Okay, that, were, that dropped something. Okay. Maybe I can get another one drop. Yep, there's another one to drop. Good, good. There's another cult document. Good. Uh, let's see. Need one more. Maybe I can get in here and get... Nope, that guy's going to take him out real fast. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay. And so, let's see. Well, we can hang out here for a little bit, but, hmm. Ah, shoot. Yeah, these high levels are just, uh, okay, there's a group over here. Maybe I can run up on these guys real quick. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. There we go. Let's see if I can take these guys out. Maybe I can get one of these guys to drop a document. Really? No hey, I got it. Good. Okay, well, there's that. Good. That's all done. Now we got three minutes until Carthraxis is going to spawn. So I'm going to put a little cut here while we wait for Carthraxis. I'm just going to hang out and, and wait here. So we'll just put a little cut while we wait for that, and then I will come be right back. All right. Uh, we got about 10 seconds left here as we uh, wait into a lot of. A lot of folks have shown up ready to go. These guys are generally uh, wait for that dragon, right? So it's a it's good for the for that uh, dragon campaign to be uh, done. So we we have to run in here though because this thing is gonna fall really fast. So let me get a little damage on this guy, and he's down. <laughs> it was really just that fast. So, whoops, not that. Control F will claim it. So we got, hey, we actually got four uh, Dragon Horde coins. That's not too bad. So, all right, so we're good here. So we've completed all the quests over on this side here. Um, uh, and so now we'll head back over here, and then we'll start doing the quests that we have over here. So, yeah, run on out of here. Um, and we will go turn in these quests. Uh then go from there. So, uh, was, if this is empty in here, this is a really good cut through spot up here. You avoid avoid some of the oops, you avoid some of the guys that are waiting over by the stairs and you don't have to worry about that. And so All right. And so we're sorry I had a little interruption there. Uh, back and we will avoid these guys. Kind of skirt by this tree and go down. Once you're a little higher level, you can just run right on past them. They don't attack you and jump off. But I figured, eh, we'll, we'll avoid potentially getting knocked off my horse and delaying, uh, and delaying us. So, All right, so... We can turn into Harper Windle. Stop what is happening in so, rest. Carthraxis is complete. Hopefully Carthraxis stays down. So, the of these cult, of cult secrets <laughs> and the dragon horde coins and are used in the campaign to down. advance the campaign as along. As we so the cult. Complete that. And then we have the cult communications complete. Interesting. We got all those. seems intent on creating a new dragon empire. Cool. And we'll complete that. All right. So now she's going to give me a few other things. So dead men do tell tales. This new cult seems desperate for information. They're looking for a barbarian named Proven Gantara, so they can find a portal to some island. They have no idea where Proven is going. 
So they cool. are trying to speak with the spirit. One so we'll go and do that. And then we have grave swapping, which actually takes us right back to the same place we were, but we'll hit that in a little bit. But I bet it's in our best interest. So we'll take care of that one too. Okay, cool. Uh, so those are done. And then, so now we've got some more stuff over here. Or we've got all these down here. Um, let's go back and we'll continue to do some of the stuff with the Cult of the Dragon. So it's not a bad area to go through and we'll knock some of that stuff out. So swapping the grave markers and uh, disrupting the rituals. This would be a good time to do that because we just defeated Carthraxus, so all the high levels that were on the same quest probably aren't out there doing the uh, disrupting the rituals, and so we should be able to zoom through that pretty quickly. So, and if we squeeze right through here, those guys won't aggro on either side, so that's kind of nice. Okay, and up we go. They're not attacking me. I'm okay. Okay, so... Oops, there's actually this whole area is open. Which is usually not. Uh, okay, so like that one hasn't respawned yet. This one hasn't respawned yet. Um, Alright, so we gotta go take out these guys. Let's take these guys out. And... Put the fighter down before he can... Take out... Okay, cool. So we have disrupt the ritual, and we can... Uh, I'm poisoned or something. So waiting for that to heal up. Now we can go. Okay, so took care of that. Pick up this stuff, and what's this here? Oh, yeah, ooh, Regal Insignia Prosperity. Actually, I think I can put that on one of my mounts right now. Yep, that's going to be 560 hit points. Nice. Cool. So that was a good pickup. Now let's go ahead and run through this thing again. I like to take out those fangs. They're pretty tough guys. Um, and we'll take out these guys. And that's the last fang over here. They just stay, see they root you. And okay, cool. So I can get rid of those. And we can break the summoning circle. So that's four of six done, and I think if I hit this last one over here, uh, that should finish off this quest. Okay. <coughs> oh, this guy, yeah, I really don't like when these fighters do that. Alright, yep, there we go. Down you go. Cool. This guy's all taken care of, and we will break the summoning circle, and that takes care of that quest. Okay, cool. And now, we can do the swapping of the... Well, that was funny. <laughs> the drag Drake, I thought I hit the fighter. Um, Alright. This is on. And then we do the grave swapping. And there's that one. And we gotta do that four more times. And there's another one here that's unguarded. And then we'll take out this mercenary. Take out those guys. Okay. And we will give it a minute. Oh, they're going to attack, aren't they? Maybe. Maybe not. Yep, here they come. Blast him back. Oh, he's going to do his little trick. I'll take him out while he's spinning. And down they all go. Good. Okay, cool. Let's swap this gravestone. And we'll swap this gravestone. And we'll have one more gravestone to swap, and that'll be this one up here. It's down. And Come on. There we go. Pop those guys out. He's down. And, okay. Shoot. I think... Yeah, I interacted with that one. Darn it. Okay. Can I get it? Okay, good. Out of combat. Cool. Okay. So that's all that's... Oops. Hello.
Yeah. Sorry, dude. You're... Really? Why are y'all coming after me? Those guys not want to... That guy, uh, that guy must be completely away from the keyboard. Oh, I'll save him. I'm a nice guy. Dude, you are not in a safe spot here. I don't know what you're doing. But I will help him out because I am a nice guy. I try to be, at least. Jeez. Yep, just took that bow shot right in the back. Okay, and then take it down. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Okay. Well, a little extra killing, but now we're all done. Good. And we can run back here. Okay, cool. That finished off Harper uh, Windle's stuff. And over the hill we go. Back to Harper Windle's house we go. Okay. Alrighty. Just zipping right on through. Yeah, I think off camera what I will do is I still haven't done my dailies yet on this and uh ooh. Why are those guys there? I think someone was doing a quest and just didn't bother killing those things first. They usually are not right there in the path. But I'll clean up somebody else's mess. Yes, let's see, there's another group spawned up there. Let's see if I can zip by. Nope. But I think I can run in here and the guards will take them out. All right. Harper Windle, are you done with me for now? Dead men do tails, tails. Cool. Got those. Grave swapping. Got those. Okay, Harper's report. I think we're off to an excellent start. Yep. So now this will go back to Harper Boward in uh, Protector's Enclave. Cool. So farewell to her. Okay, so now... Uh, let's see, we got, we got a little more time left. We can run over and do a couple quests on this side. And, uh, and then that'll sh end that Are you for now. The aid of Missing Doom Guides. So about Severn and the others. Let me know what I can do to help. Interesting. Uh, so Severin, I bet that's the same Severin they were talking about on the Cult of the Dragon side of that. So he's the new leader of the Cult of the Dragon. So... Interesting. We spotted creatures moving in the rift that were not undead. Severin suspected they might be behind the mass rising of the dead and wanted to investigate. He sent me back to inform Doomguide Volok. But that was yesterday, and we've heard nothing since. I grow more afraid than my friend. Start my watch. Okay, farewell. Okay, cool. So we're going to search for the missing doom guys by going to the rift, and that's right here. Uh, Alright, this is the doom guide camp. This banner's been desecrated and no longer channels the power of Kelimvor. There are stains on the fabric that look suspiciously like blood, but you see no other signs of the missing doom guides. Okay. Oh, hello. Barrel right. Marauders. Oh. A little ambush waiting for me, I guess. I guess you can expect dead to rise up when you're in, in a graveyard. Okay. And knock those guys out. Okay, and are we good? Cool, good there. Look for more clues for the missing doom guides. Uh, I think that's the way I came up, yep. I keep running down the mountain. All right. 
Death Pledge Null. Knock that one back. Okay. And I think we got some abandoned gear here. Be human in origin. You see a backpack, journal, and broken symbol to kill him for. A final entry in the journal reads, The Red Wizard has used a dark ritual to prevent us from calling upon Kelimvor's might. I overheard him tell his null servants that we were to be taken to another portion of Neverdeath near the soldier's memorial. The wizard took Doomguide Severin into the nearby crypt. I could hear his screams from here. May Kelimvor grant us strength. Perhaps there is yet time to say Severin, save Severin. Search for him in the nearby crypt. Okay. So we got those clues. Pick those up. Mount up. Head to the next one. Take out that death pledge null. Knock those guys basically out of there. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, there's something right here. Use my religious skills to quench the flames and get at this chest. Cool. All right, let's head into the crypt. Huntmaster, Death Pledge. We'll take him out and blow those guys back, and they're down. Zip through here. Let's see. Another lackey, lackey, lackey. Okay. And we'll run up these guys and knock them back. That should just about kill them. Yep. Okay. Alright. Alright. They are. Pick out the knoll. And then the red wizard is going to get my daily. And he's down. Good. <laughs> that was really easy. Uh, okay. So I don't think this is the same. This is not the same Severin. This is Doom Guide Severin. Valentreder Wizard must be stopped. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's the same Severin we encounter later. Anyways. All right. So we got a piercing amulet. Uh, piercing va Valiant Amulet, which is a nice upgrade. Uh, so we will accept that and put it immediately on because it is awesome. It's better than our cloak. And we can go ahead and actually here, Cloak of the Plague Tower. Let's see, what does that look like again? That's that one. You know, um, cloaks, since they are a visible item, I like to turn these into appearance items. So it's not much for refinement points, but hey. Might be something we want to look at later on as something we want to wear around and kind of look interesting and different. So, cool. All right, so we're good there. And Doom Guide Severin has uh, has opened up the uh, portal for us to go back to the graveyard. Cool. All right. Uh, so next we have assisting the Harpers. So that's back to them correcting history and the Harpers report. Uh, that's that, that's that, the, the missing doom guys and correcting history. So let's do the correcting history real quick. And we'll mount up and I think we just have to go and correct the gravestones. So that's <laughs> a little uh, editing of history here. So is this in the, ah, here, okay, they're out here. So yeah, here's the first one. We will correct this guy. Cool. That one's done, and we should get some trail to the next one. Right down here. Get this guy tapped out. Try and avoid some fighting, because I don't need to fight right now if I don't want have to. Okay. That one's done. We will follow our trail to the next one. Alright, these skeletons are not going to be able to, but we will take care of these guys real quick. Okay. Boom, hoarders. We'll take these guys out. 
They die pretty quick. And here's our next gravestone to correct. We got two more after this. Okay. And we have another gravestone right here. Correct that one. I think we have another one that way. Yeah, that one. Okay. Um. Take out that battle white. Take out these archers. And then I can go and correct. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. Bone porters spawned on me. That's okay, though. They're easy peasy to take out. Okay, now we can correct this gravestone. All right. I think that does it for this area. And we will head back to Doom Guide Volank. Let's see if I can run through these guys. Two, three. Nope, they got me. That's okay. That should take them down. Okay. All right, let's see. Now if we can run back here and try and avoid getting into much of a fight. Eh, we should be clear sailings from here. Cool. Level 28. Uh, we may get enough experience for level 29, but probably not. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We talked to uh, Christopher and Doom Guide Volk. So I'm going to go talk to Christopher next. And then we'll go up and talk to Doom Guide. So I think we're going to be heading back to that same area we were at before. Talk to Christopher. Have I told you I'm a genius? Correcting history is complete. This is wonderful news. Cool. These changes, uh, corrections, okay, he doesn't have anything more for me. Nee's entry into the nobility fall away. I will report to her at once that the rumors of her low birth can now be disproven once and for all. <laughs> okay. Doom guy watch over you. Knows you said okay. the Thayans have never been very particular about who they ally with. I'm sure the knows are here as expendable muscle. Cool. Thank you for rescuing. Complete Doom this. And the undead and the dying. I believe the red wizards are purposely drawing priests of Helm for rebirth of rebirth. Uh, is that better than I have? Yeah, it's a little bit better. Cool. So we got an upgrade helm on that one. Cool. All right. Uh, so uh, let's see. So what do we have next? So we got to turn in the thing for Harpers. Uh, get two of those things, and then we got the undead and dying, which is uh, use the southwestern gate to, in Popper's Field. Uh, however. Uh, those are all quests for another day. I uh, hope you like this. Um, if you do, leave a like down below. Subscribe and you'll get notified uh, for every day when I release a new video of this. And uh, if you'd like to see different or want me to work on some different areas or focus on certain areas, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know. And otherwise, we will see you tomorrow.